Hello everybody and welcome back to some more of the long dark. Let's load her up. Last we left off, we're in a cabin. That's right, I totally forgot we were in a cabin. We're doing some looting. I played a couple days ago, that's right. I did a few episodes in a row and that's kind of where I left off. And now we're looting. What time is it? Let's take a look. 9.22 in the morning. We're a little bit hungry. Uh, our calories are running a tad bit low. Do we have food? We have plenty of food. So if we do need to eat something, let's go ahead and chow something down. Um, let's head actually out. Now, uh, I did get a lot of comments from people saying I should go back to the dam because I left a rifle there, which I wasn't aware of. So I will uh, swing back to the dam, I believe, just to see what, what it has. What, what has it got for us if I did indeed leave a rifle there? Because if I did, uh, a rifle is going to make our survival situation impeccably easier. And uh, anything to make our survival situation easier is a welcome thing for me. Uh, and then after that is cons uh, done, all said and done, uh, we will end up... I will end up, rather, heading off to uh, the hunting cabin when I have the opportunity. Because there's definitely a rifle there, so we'll have a backup one. And some ammo. Uh, so all told, we'll just be looking in pretty tip-top shape. But if I do say so myself, and I do, we're looking in pretty tip-top shape as we are. Things are looking mighty, mighty fine for our survival needs. Now, I am going to be carrying this flare with me uh, on the off chance that a wolf shows up and starts ripping out my insides. I prefer that didn't happen. Uh, we are also encumbered right now because we ended up grabbing some wood. So we have to be very careful. Nobody needs this anymore. Nobody needs those jeans. It's, it's true, man. Nobody needs them. We're good to go. Uh, I think we'll be... Oh, my goodness. Flares for days. Some beef jerky. Is there anything else? Sometimes I'm afraid I'm missing something. So I like to just be extra, extra cautious. Looking good. All right. And I popped that open already. All right, let's start heading back and start dumping some of the stuff. I'm hoping we don't get too tired on the way back. All right, relax there, Skippy Duda. We'll be all right. I have faith in you. It's going to be a hell of a walk. It's going to be a long one, but it's going to be worth it. And even if we get super tired, we could drop stuff on the lake halfway through, go back, and then come back for it. Either way, it's nothing to complain about, man. You got plenty of time. We should be fine. We're running a little slow. Uh, again, though, I, I, I'm, I'm confident... That will be okay. Do we have a candy bar? Let's drop a candy bar down our mouth for now. You know, I wish we could walk and eat a candy bar. Certain things I understand walking and, and eating is as difficult, if not, like, impossible uh, to do effectively. Like, maybe, like, a slab of venison or something. But a candy bar, I mean, that's kind of... Are you, like, starting to work up a sweat? Relax. It's going to be all right. Keeping you warm. So, yeah, candy bar, though, should be something I should be able to, like, chomp and eat. I don't know if they'll ever plan on doing that because, I mean, I feel like that might be a little bit of, like, work that isn't necessary to make the game better. It's, like, such a minor convenience thing that I don't think it's really a big problem right now. I also want to make sure we uh, are scavenging as many dead deer that the wolves end up killing as possible. That's a big, big focus for me. That's what's keeping us, or has been keeping us alive for quite a while. Bye, dear. See you later. Maybe there's a wolf over there that'll rip you up and I can uh, scavenge you later on. If I can watch, like, a wolf get a fresh kill, if I could ward off the wolf with, like, a flare or something. Really? You turn around and face me? You want to go? Like, I watch the wolf kill a deer, then go ward him off with a flare, and then take the meat for myself. How cool would that be? That's some, that's some survival man wilderness shit right there. That's how you know you're good at this game. I'm not that good. Not yet. Maybe one day. This has been a good walk. We're encumbered, but we're... I mean, granted, we're exhausting ourselves pretty badly, but... Uh, we're almost at the house, so... So far, so good. Anything good? Nope, not really. Keep on moving with our lives. We are now officially tired. As long as we don't pass out. That's all I give a damn. <clears throat> Camp office. No bigs. In we go. Beautiful. Even if we pass out now, we're safe, so. This pack is getting kind of heavy. heavy. Alright, relax. Let's go ahead and uh, start putting some stuff away. The reclaimed wood first. If I can find it. There it is. That's uh, a big help. Beef jerky. It's kind of throwing stuff on this guy. Can opener, unless I need it. Dog food. 
Down jacket, down vest. I'll keep the flares. Just gonna store things. Jerry can. Jeans. What jeans? Uh, the jeans I'm wearing are better. We'll actually rip some stuff up. We have so much food. It's really good how much food we have right now. Do I have enough room in here? I do have some room in here. Could probably put some stuff. That's it. So a couple things in that one. We might be able to fit like one thing in this one. Alright, that was all we can fit in there. This is empty. Beautiful. Just what I need. Uh, good, good, good. Where is there it is? And uh, the military grade rations will actually chow down on tonight. I'm gonna tear all that up. Hunting knife will hang on to. All right, we'll just transfer one, I guess. And we'll go into, where is it? Not repair, harvest. What do we need? What are we, what are we not wearing? Some basic boots. Let's go and rip them up. That leather tearing sound. It's not even leather tearing. Just that leather like bending sound. It's awesome. It's really windy outside suddenly. Chop up these jeans. Everything else we'll hang on to. And quality winter coat. You know, let's get rid of it. We already have a spare down jacket that we can use later. So we're very hungry and we're very tired. So let's go ahead and actually maybe eat something. Oh, wait. We have military gra grade rations that I was going to eat. Chow them down. Apparently they sound like chips when you eat them. And we are exhausted, so a little bit of water and then bed. Gonna need a little bit more water. And then tomorrow, I think we're gonna do some uh, melting of some snow and stuff. But let's actually just go ahead and, well, we need to sleep for like six hours probably, because if we sleep for like two, our character's still gonna be tired. I assume a power nap is not going to be sufficient for a man surviving in the wilderness. It would be sufficient for me. But not him. Yeah, we're he's, he's exhausted. So, bet it is. Let's find the water. Uh, where did I store the water? There it is. Let's go ahead and transfer all of it. Let's just hang on to it. We'll start sleeping till morning, I guess. Seven hours. Sounds good. We'll take a look at our stats after that. Uh, very thirsty, which is why I wanted to wake up. Drink up, baby. Looking good. Oh, nope. There we go. Eight, eight more hours of sleep. Should be plenty. I just want the sun to be risen when I, uh, when I wake up, so. Two days, 17 hours, and one minute. Can't complain. We need more water bad, so we're going to start working on water supply. We go through a gallon very quickly. How are we looking as far as actual calories? Um, I have one fire log on me. Let's actually go ahead and maybe grab a... Where is it? Venison. We only have two venison? Are you serious? I thought we had more than that. We don't have any raw venison? That's uh, an unfortunate situation. But that's going to pack on the calories for us at least. And we do need to start getting some water boiled up. So no accelerant, fire log, tinder plug. We got plenty of other things we can play with. So let's do this. Should be good. Come on, baby. Give daddy his fire. I have faith. Yeah. Two hours. Holy crap. That's awesome. So, let's 
get an hour of uh, a gallon of snow melted. We'll see how much hour time we have after that. Not much. We're gonna want to get some wood. Let's go ahead and grab this. We could get fir wood. I think I'll just use some reclaimed wood though. Let's get three. It's gonna be an hour and a half. That should be plenty. Boil that up. I don't even have to spend time, like, uh, boiling the water. I do have water purification tabs, so. Are we going to be able to do it? Are we going to be able to pull it off? Nope, we're not. All right, well. We got some. We got still got some, so. Where is the water purification tabs? All right, that works. So we should have almost two gallons of water now. Oh, it only does a little bit. That's annoying. Doesn't do a lot. Only a little. We should be able to finish it all up with these tabs, though. Our water situation should be pretty much covered. In fact, I'm not even going to do the other one because it's so little. What I'll do... Is store a gallon. Or, um, yeah, I'll store I'll store more than a gallon if I can. Okay. Well, that's all that's going to fit in there. Well, we know for... F eh, you know what? Let's f put it in here. Water, water, water. Alright, that's not even worth it. Let's put it in this guy. Come here, buddy. Gonna waterlog your corpse and wring you dry when I need something to drink. Don't mind me. We're actually gonna go ahead and transfer all the unpure water. And all the good water. Really? It's annoying. Well, let's drink up a little bit then. Alright. So we have enough wood. We have all that good stuff. Uh, off to... The, uh, what do you call it? The, um, the dam, as it were. So we need, we need to see what's at the dam. Let's see if we can get a rifle. Come on, baby. So we go right, I think. Almost positive, yeah, we go by the... There's the birds. By the, uh, tr the derailment. There is a wolf there with food. I'm going to try and ward him off. Excuse me, sir. Yeah! Get out of here! Yeah, whatever. Get out of here. No, 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 no! Ah! Oh, God. Why, why, why? Why did that not work? Holy shit! Oh, I'm bleeding. Oh, I'm bleeding. What happened? I need to apply a bandage. Bandage, bandage. I've got to have one. Yep, there we go. Jesus Christ. Why did that not work? Apply antiseptic. That's unfortunate in every way. Alright, we're good. Oh, F you, dude. I am ripping you to pieces. I am taking everything on your body. Did I? I thought I heard growling. Come here. 21 pounds of meat. I'm taking you all for everything. I am taking you back. All right. Oh, man. Jesus Christ. I thought the flare was going to work and be like, yeah, get off, ye beast. Apparently not. Thank God I had what I needed there. Ugh. Am I just over encumbered right now? I'm going to have to leave something behind. No, you're not. You are not leaving shit behind, my friend. We are cooking up so much delicious food. Wolf meat and everything. It's going to be awesome. Got to get inside first, though. Rifle for next time, <laughs> not this time. 
I am I am upset that that did not work the way I thought it would. I should have thrown it at him or something. That might have worked. Scare him off. It's all right. We'll be all right. Something's gotta go. Yeah, relax there, dude. We're gonna be okay. All right. As always, let's grab what we need. Let's grab a little bit of food because we're gonna need it. And then all the wood. It's a lot to carry, but we'll be okay. I'll probably pop the accelerant just to get this going. Well, I don't really need to. We should be okay. Fires, man. How do they work? Don't you lose it now, you bastard. There you go. So I'm going to pop the other fir wood in there. And just start immediately just cooking. So much food. Raw venison and wolf meat. It's going to be delicious. Let's actually eat that right now. Because we are very, very hungry. And if we're going to be doing lots of cooking, I need to make sure we have the time. Or we have the stomach to do it, rather. I mean, we're burning a ton of calories in the process, but it's fine. For every two that we cook, if we have to eat one, that's not even a big deal. I'm not ready to die. I would hope you're not. Let's eat two of them. The weight will be alleviated slightly. Thirst. Drink up. Okay, you cannot go to bed. Not until you're done cooking and the fire is completely dead or you have nothing left to cook. We'll be doing some wood scavenging next time too. We're gonna need some. It's, ama it's amazing how quickly we go through wood. What can you do? We get the reclaimed wood and use it all up. Let's go get it. Give me that reclaimed wood. Give me that reclaimed wood. Give me that reclaimed wood. Gangsta. Cedar matches. Don't we have a uh, firewood or something? A fire log or something in here? Thought we did. We might have it somewhere else. It might be in another. Oh, wait. I'm not even looking at the right place. Please be able to say. I hope I don't turn around and the fire is just out. Hello, fire. Cook it up. Once we're out of wood, Dude. though, I mean, then, then we really need to start worrying a little bit more about our situation. But we should have enough food out of it all that we can kind of focus on the hunting-gathering part without stressing out that we're going to start starving to death, so. Will we be able to get one more cooked after this? I don't think so. No, we're not. So let's go store the rest. Whoa. Walking backwards, didn't mean it. This guy's exhausted because I ran him ragged today. He got attacked by a wolf. He has an excuse. He has an excuse. Where's the wolf meat? So much wolf meat, too. Damn. We might have a little too much on our hands. Eh, we're carrying enough. Might have to put some downstairs. I like to keep everything up here, it's just easier that way, but. Yeah, we can go downstairs and put the rest away. Like a drawer, just pile the meat in a drawer. That's kind of funny. Uh, we'll put it in the filing cabinet. The meat filing cabinet. Top one wolf meat. Second one, that's where we keep our venison. We like to stay organized here. And we'll hang on to two of them for now. And uh, we'll actually wrap this episode up here. It's been another productive one, if a little bit dangerous due to some uh, 
poor choices that I've made. But either way, we survived. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, come back tomorrow. We'll have some more of The Long Dark. And consider dropping a like as it helps me out a great deal. And as always, I'll see all of you next time. Bye-bye. Come on!